Jacob had a big family, 12 sons in all. Joseph was the next to last son of the family, and his father loved him most. Jacob even gave his son Joseph a special colorful coat, showing that he was his favorite son. Of course, his brothers were jealous of him. Who wouldn't be? Joseph had some strange dreams. Once he dreamed that he was in the field with his brothers, binding up stacks of grain in the field. Everyone else's stack of grain bowed to his. Another time, he dreamed that the sun, moon, and eleven stars were all bowing down to him. When he told his brothers and father these dreams, they weren't too happy. His father rebuked him, and his brothers just got angrier. But his father kept the dreams in mind. One day, Jacob sent his son Joseph to go find the brothers who were taking care of the flocks. He wanted to hear how his sons and flocks were doing. Joseph's brothers saw him from a long way off. Here comes the dreamer, they said to each other. Now is our chance to finish him off. Let's kill him. The oldest brother, Reuben, did not want to kill Joseph, so he suggested they throw him in a dry well and leave him there. Reuben had planned to later come and rescue Joseph. Before he could do that, some traders on their way to Egypt passed by, and his brothers decided to sell Joseph to them. And so Joseph was tied up behind a camel and forced to march all the way to hot, dry, dusty Egypt. Egypt was hundreds of miles away. They spoke a different language. They served strange idols. It was a strange new land, and Joseph would be separated from his family. Joseph was sold as a slave to a man named Potiphar. Potiphar's wife was determined to get her way, and one day she grabbed Joseph and tried to force him to sin. Still, Joseph resisted. He ran away from the scene, but Potiphar's wife had grabbed his coat. She was so angry that she lied about him to Potiphar. The accusation landed Joseph in jail. Not only had he been traded as a slave to Egypt, but now he had been thrown in jail for something he didn't even do. Even while he was in jail, Joseph stayed true to God. God had big plans for him. While he was in that Egyptian jail, he had a reputation for being wise and for telling the meaning of people's dreams. One day, Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt, had bad dreams that perplexed him. He could not understand what they meant and was dead set on trying to figure it out. He asked his advisors, but they could not help. He asked his magicians, but even they could not explain the dreams. Then one of Pharaoh's servants remembered that Joseph was known for interpreting dreams. Joseph was brought from prison and taken to Pharaoh. Pharaoh told Joseph everything that happened in his strange and scary dream. Joseph knew exactly what the dream meant, and he carefully explained the meaning to Pharaoh. Not only did Joseph tell Pharaoh what the dream meant, but he also told him what to do about it. The land would experience famine in seven years, and they needed to store up food to prepare. Pharaoh was impressed, and he honored Joseph. In fact, he made Joseph the second-in-command ruler over all of Egypt. Although he had been rejected by his family and left for dead, he had risen to power and greatness because God was with him. Later on, when Joseph was giving food to the people, his own brothers came to him for help. You can imagine how surprised they were to see their own little brother whom they had left for dead. He was now ruling one of the greatest countries in the world. Joseph brought his whole family to live in Egypt. Even though things looked bad for Joseph, God turned it into good.